video is an addition to a previous one which I have made that shows you how to access some pre-installed background pictures you may not even know you have on your Mac. If you're interested in learning how to do that, click the link in the description. Now in that video, we found that there was three different screensaver folders in three different libraries, and that is the way that your Mac comes by default. That's the way that the operating system was set up by the engineers at Apple. So this video is going to take a look at those three folders, where they're located, and what they contain. So the first thing we need to do is open a find a winner right here, over in the search, and type in screensavers. Now we have this first folder right here. This location is in my home folder, this library, and screensavers. So I'll double click on this, and we'll click this button right here to have a different view of it. And as you can see, it's a light gray, so it's a hidden folder. So if we do Command N for a new window, as you can see, that library folder is not here because it's hidden. Now within this folder, we have screensavers right here. And the way that I found this folder was that last night I had downloaded a screensaver that had a theme from the movie The Matrix. It had a black background with green ones and zeros that would float on your screen similar to in the movie. It turned out though that the screensaver hadn't been updated for the newest version of the Mac operating system which is the one that I'm running. So I had this file on my computer that I can't use and naturally I don't want any excess data on my computer that I don't need because that's taking up room for other things that I will be using. So I had to find that file and sometimes it's like looking for a needle in a haystack um, which is what compelled me to make this video um, because I figured I could help some other people who might be trying to find things like this too. So it turns out that if you download the screensaver it asked me if I wanted to install for all users or just the current user. I selected just the current user which is why it ended up in my home folder under this hidden library. So that's the first folder and that's its location and that's what it's going to contain. Now if I had set up that download to be installed for all users on this computer it would end up in a different location and that location is where the default screensavers are located on your computer. And by default screensavers, I mean this. We're going to System Preferences, Desktop and Screensaver. These right here. These are the ones that come pre-installed by default. If I had selected for all users, it would have ended up in this folder. Now to find this folder, go back in here, Screensavers again. We have these three folders. This is the one that we just looked at in my home folder. And then this one right here, this is where those default screensavers and the System Preferences are actually located. We'll double click that and as you can see that's the list of them right there. Now the location for this one is on the Macintosh HD under system then libraries then screensavers. So that's the second folder where it's located and what it contains. So now we'll go back and check out that last folder which is this one right here Macintosh HD library screensavers. So there's a subtle difference here this was Macintosh HD system and then library. The last one we're going to look at is this right here, Macintosh HD library and then screensavers. And this is the one where the default collections are located, which I had mentioned at the beginning of this video. If you're interested in this, you can check out the link in the description. But as you can see, we have the library here, then system. So we're dealing with three different libraries, three different folders for screensavers. This one is located strictly on your hard drive library and then screensavers. Then the one that we looked at right before this, was located on the hard drive system library and then screensavers so I'll just type in SC screensavers that's the other one and then we have the final one which I'll access from here too is Macintosh HD users my name and then it's under here but it's hidden and I showed you if you just manually tap it in around here we can access the hidden folder that's one way to access it I might actually make a link in the future showing you how to go into terminal and set up your computer so that you have continual access to all your hidden folders so be looking out for that link in the description as well hope you found this video helpful stay tuned for more